You pressed your lips together and again looked at the watch. It's already 12, midnight, and here you are waiting for your husband to come back. It's not like you always waited for him like this, but sometimes you do. He always informs you when he is going to get late. But today, neither he texts you nor he calls you to inform that he is going to get late. You know that it's normal for businessmen to come home late and not inform because of their sudden plans. But you can't just unseen the fact that he is a mafia and his life is not safe. Even when he goes for a small mission, he informs you, but today, he didn't. Being a soft-hearted woman, it's so easy for you to get negative thoughts in your mind. You bite your nails and again called him, but he again didn't pick up the call. You throw the phone on the couch and mess your hair. You can't even go outside as it is strictly not allowed it. You pouted and sat on the couch. You can't do anything except waiting. Door was wide open. Bodyguards outside also looking worried, not for Jungkook but for you. You always get sick whenever you take so much tension. Ma'am, I think you should sleep now. I will inform you when he come back. Try to call him, maybe he will answer your call. Please try it, I am really feeling so uneasy. Ma'am, take it easy, he is going to be all safe. Our bodyguards are with him and he is not any ordinary man, going to handle things if there are anything wrong. You won't understand, just try to call him and if he answers then let me know. You are waiting for me darling. You flinch a little bit and scoff when you saw Junko peeking behind the door and smiling widely. Your heart feels relieved seeing him all safe. He walk in the room smiling at you while you scrunch your nose. He is drunk. The smell and the way he is walking just making it clear that he is drunk. He walked to you and hugged you but you pushed him. So I was all worried here and this minister was drinking and hanging out. That's great. Didn't you find it necessary to inform me, huh? He cups your face and moves it from left to right and smiles. My wife is angry. You look so cute with this red nose and red ears. And look, your cheeks also get red. You are blushing, right? You smile slightly and looked awake. Controlling your smile, you looked at him again with a serious face, trying hard to look angry, but his cute face was not helping at all. He is a mafia boss and always wears a dangerous look, but when he started to act cute, it hit the friend. You can never get angry on me, my pumpkin, but this time I am. Why you get drunk and you even drive while drinking? Are you crazy? Calm down, my wifey. I knew it that you won't like when I drive while drinking. That's why it's not me, but Jimin who drove me here. I promise it was not me. He was not drunk. Of course he was, but his wife won't put so much restriction on him. You wanna say that I force you to follow my rules? I never say that. But you mean that. Why you always find meaning behind the words? Just try to understand the words simply. And I never said that you put restriction on me, but you tie a thread of love around me, which tell me what to do and what not. Even when you are drunk, but you are not going to stop mocking me, right? Why are you so cute? You know, whenever I saw you, I feel like kissing you. He said leaning to kiss you, but you placed your hand on his mouth and pushed him slightly. Why? You are spelling. Go and wash your mouth first. It's too strong. You said and walked inside the house while he pouted and walked behind you. But why are you smelling my mouth? Smell the love I had for you. I'm trying to do the same, but the alcohol just jump in middle every time like a third person. I always hate this third person in the story. Should I shoot it? Go ahead. Are you angry on me? No, I'm happy. You promised me to come back home early today, but what can I expect from you? I'm sorry, I won't repeat the mistake again. Keep your sorry to yourself. 
You sit and put a glass of lemon water in front of him. Have it and get sober. I already hit up your foot. Have it after that. Where are you going? To sleep, of course. You sit and walked upstairs. He signed and got the water in one go. As a fast sleeper, it didn't take you time to fall asleep. But Jungkook, who just got a little sober, is not in the mood to sleep or he can't able to sleep. He turned to you and smiled. His eyes were shining beside your sleeping figure, admiring your each and every feature clearly. The way cold breeze making you smile every time it hit your skin. He extended his hand and wiped the corner of your mouth. The smile was not leaving his lips after seeing you all silent and calm. You are the radio of this house, which started from early in the morning till late at night. He still remembered the first time you guys meet. The way you scold him for spilling the coffee on him. Just from the day his search of his love finished. And now you both had such a happy family where you both understand each other and love each other in every condition. He smiled and softly kissed the top of your lips. His smile grew wider as he slowly placed a soft kiss on your forehead and nose. You sniffed a little more closer in his chest. He smiled and patted your back but also kissed your head. Taking your hand in his, he softly kissed back of it. You opened your sleepy eyes and looked at him. What do you want now? I couldn't able to sleep. Why don't you try to count sheep? It's better than making me wake up. Jungkook smiled and nodded, counting sheep. He looked at the ceiling and started to count. No matter how many times he count those sheep, but he couldn't able to sleep. He looked at you and smiled slightly. Look who is sleeping peacefully, who can never stop herself for a second. He again shake you while you winch like a child and turn your back to him. He smiled and back hug you. He smiled kissing your shoulder but you shrugged it. He again kissed your shoulder. You turned to him with your sleepy eyes while he picked your lips making you sign. Why don't you try to sleep peacefully? But I couldn't able to. What should I do? Not after counting sheep. Jungkook, you promised me a while ago that you won't bother me but look. Don't you know baby girl, every man do lie. He said and kissed your lips again. You put your hand on his chest and looked at him pouted. He smiled showing his all teeth and melting you on his smile. Okay, only one question and I will let you sleep. What's that? Why are you so cute? Is there something you are using for being cute? And don't want to tell me huh? Yes, and you know what's the secret thing? Your love, now sleep. One more thing. You sighed and looked at him. How can you sleep when you had such a handsome view in front of your eyes? He said looking at you with his innocent face. You scoffed. How can a mafia be this cute? But you know he is like this only for some time. Because when tomorrow he will come to his sense, he again become that rude guy. You got up and closed the curtains while he looked at you confused. You were right, this beautiful view was disturbing me. Now it's all fine, go to sleep. I was talking about myself. Jungkook, look, I'm already tired. I was waiting for you for so long and now look at the time. It's already 3. He looked at the time and then at you again. But it's not 3 yet, still 1 minute left. You sign and looked at him with sword and face while he pressed his lips together. Come here, I will help you to sleep. You wide open your arms, he hugged you, closing his eyes and with your soft smile he started to feel sleepy. At least that's what you think because he was not. Your hands were kissing his head but there was no sign of sleeping in his eyes. What do you want? When you are already awake, then let's go and watch a movie together. Jungkook, I'm already so tired, let's plan a movie night one day. He nodded and there was a silence for some time. Just when you were about to close your eyes, he kissed your jaws. You opened your eyes and looked at him when he smiled again. Sorry, I couldn't able to resist. You are so adorable. 
You already planned that you are not going to sleep tonight, right? It's not like that. I want to sleep, but how can I close my eyes when such a beautiful lady is lying in front of me, hugging me in her arms? Okay, then I will sleep in the guest room. That will be more difficult. I won't disturb you anymore. Just sleep. You slept, but again, just when you were at the most comfortable state, he started to kiss all over your face. You just ignore him, but not when he kissed your neck, making you giggle because of that ticklish feeling. You open your eyes and looked at him. I successfully disturb you, but you say you won't do that. But I even say that all men do lie. You are not sober yet. Let me bring something to get you sober. You were about to get up, but he pulls you down and hugs you. Let's sleep now, or else I will end up doing something with you. He said, shrieking. While well, you bite your lower lip. Yeah, you dirty pervert. What I did? He said, making an innocent face while you scoffed and hit his chest. Don't try to be innocent because I already know how innocent you are. You dirty pervert. You said, hitting him with a pillow. He pouted and looked at you. Yeah, I am your husband and even the dangerous mafia boss. You can't just hit me with that pillow. Yes, I can because if you are a mafia boss, then I am your wife, queen of this house. You say trying to hit him one more time, but he grabbed your hand and pulled you on top of him. Yeah, leave me, leave me. No, now you are in the hands of vampire. I am going to eat your flesh. No one coming to save you now. You are trapped. He said in a heavy voice, wanted to sound horrible, but got confused when you started to laugh. What? Since when vampires started to eat flesh, they only suck blood, Dumbo. Really? I don't know about that. But don't worry, lady. This vampire is advanced. I'm going to eat flesh of yours and going to suck your blood too. How cruel! You can say that. For what? Well, looking tired already. Are not you sleepy now? I am, but what's the point? You are not letting me sleep. What do you want, you? What do you mean by me? Well, should I show you or tell you? I think practical is better option. You take a pillow and again hit his face. Pervert, dirty pervert. So what's wrong in being pervert for your wife? It is. Now sleep and let me sleep also. It's already so late. It's already morning, my darling. So what? Let me sleep. You sit and sleep on his chest. He smiled and started to kiss your back. You know that you make me the happiest person ever. I really love you a lot. Confession accepted. You are really so cute. Sometimes I wonder how I end up getting loved by an angel. You know what I promise you that I will always make you happy and never let you cry because of me. I will protect you and will always make you happy. You know that I love you a lot, right? He waited for your answer, but in return, he only get some soft nose. He looked at your face and chuckled as you already slept. He smiled and kissing your head, he also closed his eyes. You stretch your arms and yawn, looking at your side, and you smile slightly. Chunker was sleeping while hugging your waist. You look around and chuckle slightly. You are in a different room. And little do you know, he carried you here. He really likes to sleep in a little space with you. You close your eyes for a little while, and decided to get up as it's already so late. Softly taking his hand, you free your waist from his grip and was about to get up, but he again grabbed your waist and pull you closer, making your eyes widen. You looked at him and smiled slightly, finding him still sleeping. Where are you going? Are you still not sober, Mister? It's already nine. Don't you have office to attend today, huh? Why? Let's sleep for a little longer. My head is paining a lot, and even I'm feeling sleepy. I am taking leave today. Let me sleep a little longer. He said, pulling you more closer while you smile slightly. Why not? After all, you were awake whole night. Neither you sleep nor let me have a peaceful sleep. Then let's sleep now. I'm already sleepy. It's easy for you to take leave from your work, but Mister, my work is not like yours. I can't take leave like you. 
He looked at you with a parted face. Why not? Then who is going to make food for you? And what about cleaning and dusting? Remember, we don't have any maids at our house, mister. And if I take break, then who is going to do all the work? In that case, let's go out for a lunch and I will mop the floor for you and even laundry. You chuckle and ruffle his hair. I want someone who can help me finishing my work, not someone who increase my work 10 times. So that's what you think of me. Yes, you are a troublemaker. You even know how much you bothered me last time. It hurts, but guess what? I don't care. I already knew it. He smiled and pulled you on top of him, comfortably adjusting himself on the couch. He kissed your forehead. I go, you are getting heavy these days. I think you should hit some gym. You pouted and slightly hit his chest, while he pretended like it hurts him. Don't forget you brought me here. I know, I can't be able to sleep in that room so I come here to sleep, but then remember how can I fall asleep without you. Actually, now you become my habit, but I think that was my worst disease and my back hurts. Leave me, let me go. You said in an angry tone while he laughed and pulls you back on him. You parted angrily and looked away. He smiled and brushed your hair aside. Why you girls always get angry on every small thing? Is it fun? Girls, that means you are seeing someone behind my back. You are cheating on me? I knew it. I shouldn't have to believe a mafia. I knew it. My life become hell. My husband is seeing someone else behind my back. That's why I started to look chubby. Because you need a reason to stay away from me and spend time with yours. Yeah, when I say I'm cheating, and don't you think being chubby is kinda cute? Pabo, you even know how sensitive girls are on this topic. Next time, keep this in mind. Seriously, you are drunk even without drinking. Just like there is only one moon, I also had only one queen that is you. Never thought that I can even look at any other girl. I'm a woman, not girl. Who knows it better than me? You smile while he shrimped at you. Okay, okay, enough talking. Let me go. I need to do lots of work and wake up now. What would your employees do when their boss is himself late? I'm a boss and I can be late. Don't be so overpowerful. Now get and leave me too. Okay, how about a morning kiss then, Mrs. John? You narrow your eyes. Morning kiss? What's so special today? You never asked anything like this before. And you again started to call me Mrs. John. While last night, you were pampering me with lots of nicknames. He shimmick and flip your position, him on top of you, while your eyes widen. You want a nickname? And how about Kitten? He said winking at you while your face turned red crazily. You again started to flirt. Let me go. I go. My wife is blushing. Let me see the lady boss getting blushed. Ah, uh, damn cute, my little heart. What should I do? Just get up. Without getting a kiss? Nah, nah. That's not possible. But you didn't even wash your mouth. It still smells like alcohol. It's not that bad. You wanna taste it too. He said leaning closer to you but you pushed him and ran from there, leaving him winching like a child. It's okay, but at least let cuddle for 5 minutes. You throw a teddy at him and giggle. If you want to cuddle, then finish your work early and come back home early. Then let's cuddle at night. You sit and walk out, smiling, while he shouted smiling to make you hear. But at night, I want something more than just cuddle, baby.